Would you please state your full name? And, uh, strike that. Would you first of all raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. All right. Mr. Arnquist. Can you state your name for the record? Ruby, but Darlene Bondi. Ruby, uh, what is your relationship to Matthew? I am his grandmother, great grandmother. And how long have you known Matthew? Since the day he was born. And you heard Miss Wilson's testimony, correct? Yes. And did Matthew ever come to stay with you? Yes more than once. His mother locked him out one time and he couldn't get back in the house so he came to stay with grandma and then several times he would be thrown out of the house and he would come and stay months at a time and I would take him back and forth to school. Uh, he was always very thankful, very respectful, very polite um, always telling us he loved us. He was a very good grandson. I, uh, his mother would not leave him alone when he would come to my house. She would come in early in the morning before school and sneak his telephone, his phone, out of his bedroom. And he, she knew that would infuriate him. Um, because she used to then she'd get him all riled up before he went to school. And uh, yeah, there was many incidents that she interrupted his life. She was obsessed with wherever he went, whoever he was with, whatever he was doing. She would not leave him alone. And when George and Denise got out of the house, Ms. Wilson testified that it got worse. Did you observe that? I think it did, yes. I Well, I had him a lot, so she was doing odd jobs, so I would be taking him to school and keeping him all day until they got home or she got home. Yeah, so he was with me a lot. And yes. Ms. Wilson testified that Julie Noby would essentially not leave him alone in any situation. Did you observe that? She would not leave him alone, no. She harassed him constantly. Uh, it was like she was obsessed with being with him wherever he was and whatever he was doing. Did you see an impact of that behavior on him? Oh, yes. He would get very angry because she would do it in front of his friends. He would be walking with a group of his friends, and she would come along with her car alongside of them and harass him, wanting him to get in the car with her. and. Uh, he w didn't want to go with her. He wanted to be with his friends. He was old enough to be with his friends. And uh, he had called me on his phone, and so I went there where they were walking, and she actually came in the wrong lane by my car trying to get me to make him get in her car. And I took him in my car, and he was so angry. She used to make him so angry. And over time, did he become more reclusive? Yes. And was that from what you saw because of his mother's actions? Right. I have no further questions. Mr. Boonstra, any questions of Ms. Bondi? No questions, Your Honor. You may step down, ma'am.